Oh my goodness. I just saw the news. Have you heard about it? There's a new cure for type 1 diabetes coming. I I hope you haven't said this one um, to, a, to a type 1 diabetic. Um, you know, look at this new, there's some kind of news. Right now there's a vaccine trial. It, it's been decades where it's like, you know, in 10 years, there's going to be a cure. The relentless promises of some kind of cure. And we've just got to get out of that. So one of the things that, that I'm, you know, I'm writing a little article for, um, it's a diabetes related nutritional magazine that mainly is working in East Africa. So somehow they came across me. Uh, and, so I'm, I, and the name of the article is type one diabetic, but healthy because of the stigma that having type one diabetes is kind of going to ruin your life. And you know, it's, everybody's crying. So you're type one diabetic. And it's like, I, you know, I, I live a pretty normal life. You know, there's a lot of risk factors. Um, it pretty much, unless your blood sugar is perfect, there's risk factors that you 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 know higher likelihood for issues with your eyes and kidneys and all this other stuff, but you'll see plenty of type one diabetics who you know are are getting by and and, and pretty pretty normal. That doesn't necessarily apply to to all of us. So the the promising of cures, you know, stem cells is one. I met a guy who flew out to Germany. He got stem cell treatments, and I think he spent like a hundred thousand dollars doing that. And for a while, it really reduced his insulin requirement, and then he still needed to take more again. So he kind of lost the benefit. Um, yeah, again, there's a, a new vaccine which might help the body regenerate the, the cells that make insulin. If, if you're telling a type 1 diabetic that they should be hopeful, that there's a new cure on the horizon, we've been, we've been, people have been telling us that. So one of the things that, you know, speaking to the article that I was mentioning, you know, it's kind of like saying, even though you have type 1 diabetes, you can have good life. <laughs> it's okay. That might be far more useful than the freaking out of, I got to find a cure and this and then getting all excited about it. Wouldn't my life be so much better if I wasn't type 1 diabetic? I encourage you to use questions. This will be our certification if you want to graduate from this master class here. To use questions like, what do you need to feel more well being a type 1 diabetic? What would give you peace being a type 1 diabetic? How can I support you, like, with how hard it is to be a type 1 diabetic? Not to say that must be so hard for you, but for some people, they'll agree it's hard for them to be type 1 diabetic, at least in some or a lot of ways. How can I, uh, you know, appropriately encourage you to be there as a supporter and not make you feel like you're some victim with this big problem who's going to have a shitty life? And, and so on and so forth. So part of that is the same politeness of, of giving someone peace when they're stressed. And, and part of it is also not selling a cure, which at, at this point is just very intangible. There's nothing really worth getting excited about. And, you know, it's, it's cool. Stuff's cool. Like 10 years ago, being able to afford a glucose monitor, uh, the, the right on my arm here, it's called a, a CGM, or I have a Libre. So this um, s measures my blood glucose all the time. All I have to do is scan my phone to this one. Some of them, they have an extra device on it that transmits my data to my phone all the time. That wasn't available 15 years ago. If you look at some of the, the blood glucose testing devices, you know, the little pricks on your skin that were available 30 years ago, they were wild. That, so, I mean, technology is coming through that really makes life, uh, you know, pretty radically changed. So things are kind of cool already and there's more stuff that'll be coming that'll make it more easy and accessible. But, um, yeah, don't don't go for the cure. I wouldn't I wouldn't mention that. Uh, it gets kind of annoying after a while. So that's why you'll see the meme. When's the cure for type one diabetes coming? Ten years. <laughs>